Hey guys, I'm Timmy here, and uh, before I begin this video, I wanted to let you guys know, thank you for helping us reach 70,000 subscribers, that means so much to us, honestly, I, I would have never thought we would have made it this far, but it totally means a lot to us, and we won't stop making videos, this will be our lifetime channel, so let's see if we can make this video get over a thousand likes, that would be amazing, and I will see you guys in the video. Alright guys, so today we will be taking a quick look at the top 5 launchers of 2015, so let's get right into it. Now before I begin, I just wanted to make this clear that even though some of these launchers are not of 2015, they are in my opinion still the best launchers that I have ever used till this year. 2015 some of these launchers you may have heard of but they are truly my favorite launchers like I'm being totally honest with you guys and most of them received an extreme makeover so they may not seem what you expect them to look like so let's get right into it starting it off at number five five Z launcher so Z launcher is a very recent launcher released by Nokia and the reason I enjoy this launcher so much is because of its minimalistic theme now every text, icon, and font are white and follow the same design aspects. There's only one page showing you your most recent activities such as contacts and applications being used and of course you have an app drawer with all of your applications in columns in alphabetical order. You also have two icons for the Google Play Store and the settings to Z Launcher and I really enjoy the icons in this application. The launcher looks great, everything seems nice, now something really cool is actually their search function basically you scribble the first letter of the application or contact you're looking for and as you keep scribbling out the letters you can narrow down your search is extremely smooth and i can see why so many people enjoy it but the only con to this launcher is that you cannot use your own widgets and it's not very customizable that's one of the top reasons as to why z launcher is not my number one choice four terrain home Terrain Home is what you would call an informative launcher. Now the reason I say this is because you have a sidebar displaying just about everything you can think of. You can view your favorite contacts, your Facebook newsfeed, calendar events, weather, the stocks, popular YouTube videos, and the list goes on and on. I can see how a lot of people would find this to be very useful and having everything on the left sidebar is great. On the right sidebar you also have all of your applications categorized in alphabetical order. A search function is also provided letting you look up or search on a third party website or applications on your phone. You can also have up to 8 pages for your favorite applications or widgets and a dock on your home screen. Now the problems that I had with this launcher is that I do experience lag when sliding out the left sidebar. It's actually every single time I just load it up, it loads up everything, updates everything and the launcher just slows down for a bit until it loads up and you know, it's just a little bit annoying, but another thing is that it still follows that hollow look from back in Android 4.4 KitKat, but uh, I don't find that really pleasing. Other than that, it's a great launcher. I highly recommend it. 3. Action Launcher 3. Now, I'm sure you've heard of Action Launcher, but this is the third one they've released, and it's a complete rewrite and redesign from the old one. This launcher follows the Google Now launcher and I do enjoy that a lot because it has some good extra features included as well as having that lollipop experience in your phone. For example, there's a feature called Shutter where you can take a quick look at some of the social media applications that you have on your phone before even opening the application up. It's like a little window. And of course they have their famous sidebar filled with all of your applications categorized into columns. So in the settings, you have a lot of customization options such as changing the action bar at the top, changing the theme, changing the icons, and much more. And now you can have more than one page, whereas before you would only have one page. So I am glad they added this feature to have multiple pages on your home screen as most launchers should. But some of these customizable options or settings can only be unlocked through the full version which costs $4.99. I wouldn't mind paying for that, but to be completely honest, I don't really use this as my daily driver. I don't really need a sidebar with all of my applications if I already have my regular app drawer at my disposal. Plus, I really enjoy that cool circle animation when popping it up, 
so I don't really need the sidebar at all. It's pretty useless. But I do enjoy this launcher. Don't get me wrong. It's very nice. It's smooth, fast. They did a great job of applying that material design look onto it. And it's actually a great launcher for all of you who like to keep it simple. It's there. It's free. Two, Everything Me Launcher. Everything Me Launcher is one of the most organized launchers I've seen so far. And for this reason, I had to hand it to them. The developers have really put a lot of work into this launcher. So when you load it up the launcher for the first time, most of your applications are already categorized into folders. Your social media applications, your games, music, photos, the list goes on and on. And you even have Google cards within the folders to let you know some news articles, some areas around you, places to eat, so on. A nifty feature is a widget called Prediction Bar. This little widget will anticipate what you will need throughout the day. For example, your news app in the morning, your calendar at work, and just applications that you need right now. Along with a clock widget to let you know what time it is, and it's just plain out beautiful. And the search function is included, and it's very beautiful letting you search up just about anything. It's fast, it's smooth, but it's not number one. One, Nova Launcher Free. Of course you've heard of Nova Launcher, but I've tried almost every launcher out there, and I always come back to this one. The reason I enjoy this launcher so much is because of the customization. I mean you just can't compete with all of the customization options that you have in this launcher. You can change the icons, the number of dock pages, the number of dock icons, the grid size, the menu options, tab orders, the transitions, the page previews, the folders, etc. It just It's a lot of stuff you can customize. You also have some really neat animations such as switching tabs in the app drawer, opening the app drawer, and opening an application. It looks very materialistic, and since I've been using this for over a year now, I can truly say this is probably the best launcher out there so far in my opinion. Um, it's pretty similar to Apex Launcher actually, but I seem to go over to Nova because it has just a little bit more of customization and features included. Never experienced lag though, everything is smooth and loads up quickly, and I would recommend it to anyone who asked what is the best launcher, I would just say this one. So that's it for this video guys, make sure to leave a thumbs up to show your support. Don't forget that we have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram that you can go check out for yourself. And I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!